Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Samar Ajawi. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to His Majesty King Mohammed VI of Morocco on the occasion of the King and People's Revolution Day. His Majesty the King wished King Mohammed VI good health and happiness and the brotherly people of Morocco further progress and prosperity under his wise leadership. In the cable, His Majesty the King hailed the deep-rooted fraternal relations binding the two brotherly countries and people, noting steadily growing ties across all fields. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a congratulatory cable to His Majesty King Mohammed VI of the Kingdom of Morocco on the occasion of the King and People's Revolution Day. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, sent a similar cable to the Crown Prince of Morocco, Prince Maulai Hassan, and the Prime Minister of Morocco, Aziz Al Khanoush. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Works and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, praised the humanitarian role of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Nasser's words were delivered on the occasion of World Humanitarian Day, which celebrates great humanitarian efforts. His Highness noted Bahrain's keenness to provide relief to the needy countries and enhancing the mutual respect among citizens and residents. His Highness also praised the efforts of the esteemed government and the role of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa in supporting the humanitarian field. His Highness Sheikh Nasser stressed the achievements of the Royal Foundation for Humanitarian Works on local as well as international levels, supported by His Majesty the King and affirmed the Foundation's implementation of His Majesty's vision of aiding the orphans, widows and providing them with comprehensive care. The Speaker of the Representatives' Council, Fawziya bin Abdullah Zainal, congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Works and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, on the occasion of the World Humanitarian Day. The Speaker expressed pride in the Kingdom's humanitarian initiatives that are a main pillar of the comprehensive development process led by His Majesty the King. She expressed her deep appreciation for the efforts made by the government, headed by the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, in accordance with international human rights standards to ensure a decent life for the citizens and residents. Zainal praised the great humanitarian role played by the Royal Humanitarian Foundation, headed by His Highness Sheikh Nasser, inside and outside Bahrain, in providing relief to the needy in various countries without discrimination. She said that the people of Bahrain are distinguished by their respect to human values that are part of the cohesion and solidarity of society and spreads the spirit of peace, coexistence, love and brotherhood. The chairman of the Shura Council, Ali bin Saleh al Saleh, congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa on the occasion of the World Humanitarian Day. Assal expressed pride in the Kingdom's humanitarian initiatives under the leadership of His Majesty the King, which shows solidarity with friendly countries. He congratulated His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and commended the efforts of the government led by His Royal Highness to promote the humanitarian approach of the Kingdom. The Chairman lauded His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister's contribution in the humanitarian work field, wishing him success in achieving the visions of His Majesty the King. As Saleh congratulated His Majesty the King's representative for humanitarian work and youth affairs, National Security Advisor His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and praised his efforts in the humanitarian work field and his directives to the Royal Humanitarian Foundation in this field. Marking the World Humanitarian Day, the Attorney General, Dr. Ali bin Fadl al buinin affirmed that celebrating the occasion is a reminder for all of their duties towards their societies and an incentive in stretching out the helping hand to all humanity. Dr. al buinin commended the humanitarian vision of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, which is adopted by the Kingdom of Bahrain. He stressed the efforts being made to support the community and promote the capabilities of its individuals. He noted the public prosecution's interest in the humanitarian issues of the community, stressing that humanitarian work needs 
concerted efforts to attain goals. He added that since its establishment 20 years ago, the public prosecution has shown keenness on providing protection and care through various procedures stipulated by the law. He cited measures taken in this regard, like launching the social initiative Ri'aya, which is considered the first of its kind in the region. The Attorney General paid tribute to His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa for their support to humanitarian work and the relevant institutions. The Attorney General clarified that humanitarian work is necessarily correlated with the coexistence of the group and therefore it is a public and private duty in which the efforts of the state meet the efforts of members of society. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Azayani, praised the leading role of the Kingdom of Bahrain in humanitarian work, which stems from its religious, cultural, and historical values. Azayani stated that Bahrain's continuous efforts in charitable work and its wise diplomatic principles in promoting human solidarity as a solid approach stems from the comprehensive development process led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The Foreign Minister extended his gratitude to His Majesty the King and to the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, on the celebration of the World Humanitarian Day, which is observed on the 19th of August. He expressed pride in the honorable record of the Kingdom in perpetuating the global humanitarian alliance, solidarity and fraternity among all cultures. He commended Bahrain's humanitarian initiatives and charitable and development projects implemented by ministries and government agencies in partnership with the civil society inside and outside the kingdom. Dr. Azayani lauded the efforts of the Royal Humanitarian Foundation under the directives of its honorary president, His Majesty the King, the support of the esteemed government, and the follow-up and supervision of the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Works and Youth Affairs, and chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Royal Humanitarian Foundation. He also affirmed that Bahrain would continue its efforts to establish solidarity rights, respect for human dignity, the right to development, security, peace, acceptance of the other, and a peaceful environment. Bahrain Clear announced the launch of Bahrain Private Market to commence providing the services of Bahrain Private Market to shareholding closed companies. The Bahrain Private Market is a new comprehensive platform that aims to provide a full suite of bespoke share registrar services in a secure and electronic format. The platform will enable close shareholding companies to access, connect, manage, and execute their transactions in an efficient and effective manner. The shares will be held in safe custody by the Bahrain Clear to ensure the safe keeping and visibility to the company's shareholders.